In this video, we're going to be making a flat design hipster face using Adobe Illustrator. Now, as you can see, we've got an example of what our hipster face is going to look like on the screen at the moment. Uh, it's quite simple, made up of rectangles, circles, and rounded rectangles. And that is about it. We just deform those shapes a little bit to get the different shapes that we need. So to get started today, we're going to head up to the File menu, make ourselves a new document. And we're going to pop over to the Web Templates and choose the 1280 by 1024 pixel template. You can just type in the width and the height if you would prefer. Click Create when you're ready to go and you'll get the white canvas on your screen ready for you to start creating your hipster face. The thing that I'm going to start with first of all today on the face is the beard. Okay, so to draw the beard, what I need you to do is pop over to your rectangle tool, hold your mouse down and select the rounded rectangle tool. From here I want you to go over to your Properties panel. If you can't see your Properties panel, just go to your Window menu and select Properties. And I want you to turn the Stroke Color off. Okay, so you're probably in this little view here. You just need to select the first box, which is a white box with a red line through it, which will turn off your Stroke. Now Stroke's another name for a border that goes around your shape, so we just turn the borders off. We do want a Fill Color though. Okay, and the color we want our beard, if we just click on this white box here, Okay, you can choose any color there that you want your beard to be, but I'm going to go over to the color mixer, so that little color palette, and I'm going to type in a six-digit hexadecimal code here. Okay, so the number I'm going to type in is 756969, and what that does is when I press enter, it'll give me a really kind of light browny gray color. And from here, I'm going to draw a rounded rectangle onto the page. I'm going to make it a fair size for now, so that's something like that. Using my black arrow, which is the selection tool, I'm just going to move that somewhere near the center for the time being. Now I'm going to grab my white arrow now, which is the direct selection tool, and I'm just going to click and drag over the two bottom corners of my shape, so it selects just those two bottom corners. We don't want to touch these top corners at the moment. And what I'm going to do, you can see a little white circle here, either on the left corner or the right corner. Just click and drag on those circles, and it's going to make our rounded corners become a lot more rounded. I want you to go as far as you can until that red line appears and drop it. And that's going to round out the bottom of our shape. Okay, so that's looking a bit more like a little hipster face. I guess now we've got the beard down here and we're going to have the face up the top here. Alrighty, so the next thing I'm going to do is just sharpen this beard up a bit. I'll zoom in a bit here so you can see what I'm doing. Down the bottom with my white arrow tool, so the direct selection tool, still selected. I'm going to click on this bottom point, and you'll see a little handle that appears over here. I'm just going to pick up that handle and drag it inwards towards the center point. Okay, and you can see when I let go, it makes a kind of sharpish curve there. Alright, so we need to get this other side now. So I'm just going to click on the line over here. You don't have to actually click on that center point. You can click on the path, which is the line coming around this left side here, and you'll see another little handle appear. And I just want you to pick that handle up and drag it over towards the center as well. So you get a similar kind of shape on the left side as you did on the right. Alrighty, so the next thing we need to do, okay, still with this white arrow selected, is select the path again that runs along here, and you'll see another handle that appears on the right-hand side over here. Grab that handle, hold shift, and drag it down a bit. Not too far, okay, just down a bit more, so it's looking something like that. Click on the path on the left side and do exactly the same. This handle will appear on the left, hold shift and drag it down a bit. Okay, and hopefully you've got a not so rounded beard. If it's still a little bit rounded, feel free to click on these points again and just sharpen that point up a little bit more. Might want to just bring the handle back up a bit. Okay, it's just a bit of trial and error until you are happy with how your beard's looking. Should be pretty much the same on either side. So I'm going to go with something like that. Okay, so it rounds off here and tapers into a little point in the center. Okay, so that's looking pretty good for a beard. The next thing I'm going to draw in is the face. Okay, so the face obviously is attached to the beard. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change my rec rounded rectangle tool back to my rectangle tool. Okay, I'm going to go back over to my properties 
and I'm going to change the fill color. Now before you change the fill color, make sure you haven't got this beard selected, otherwise it will change the color of this beard. So you may need to grab your black arrow and just click off the beard for a moment. And go back to your rectangle tool, go to the fill color, and you want to choose a skin color. Okay, so the skin color I'm going to roll with is a hexadecimal code of F2, C5, A4. When I press enter, you can see I've got this skin tone that I'd like to use. Now what I'm going to do here is basically draw a rectangle through the middle of this beard, which is probably going to start, oh, let's go about here. Now, oops, I want you to go outside the lines here, just so you cover everything you need to. And I want you to go up a reasonable way, probably up to about there. And now we're just going to cut off the sections of the face we don't need. So I'm going to highlight everything using my selection tool. I'm going to grab my Shape Builder tool over here from my toolbox. And I'm going to hold the Alt key and simply click and drag over the parts of the shape I don't need anymore. Okay, so that was the top section of the beard and just the sides of the face there that were going or stretching out a little bit too far. So this here is going to be our face. Alright, so what we're going to put on our face is some eyes, eyebrows, uh, a nose and even a little mouth. So let's start with the simple ones, which is going to be the eyes. Uh, we're going to go back to our rectangle tool, hold our mouse down on it and get our ellipse tool. Okay, oops, I should have just clicked off everything first. Okay, so make sure you've deselected everything, otherwise you'll change the colors of the wrong shape. So with my ellipse tool selected, go over to your fill color here, click on it, and we're going to type in another hexadecimal code. For the eyes, I'm going to make them a little bit red, so I'm going to write in 75, 43, 46, press enter. It's like a darkish red. Now I'm going to zoom in nice and close here, and I'm simply going to hold shift to draw a perfect circle, and draw a little eye about yay big. Using my selection tool now, I'm going to hold alt while this eye is selected, and you'll see that a black and white arrow appear. I'm going to click and drag out a second eye now. And if you hold shift while you're dragging, it keeps it perfectly in line. So you can move your eyeball over to the other side of the face. Just drop it into position. You may need to nudge them around a little bit with your arrow keys to get them into a reasonable looking spot. So they're a similar distance from the edge of the face. Something like that doesn't look too bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. Right, the next thing we're going to draw is some eyebrows that go above those eyes. Okay, so I want you to simply select this bearded color again. All right, so to do that, we're just going to grab our eyedropper tool and click on the beard. And that will change our fill color back to what we had originally for our beard. The shape we're going to use for our eyebrows is a rounded rectangle tool. And you don't need to hold shift for this one. You're simply just going to click and draw an eyebrow sits above the eye, something like that. Now you may need to just nudge it around a little bit with your arrow keys. Okay, that looks good. With the direct selection tool selected, I'm going to hold Alt on top of this eyebrow and click and drag out a second one that comes over the side here. Now this right eyebrow is going to be a little bit higher and I'm also going to hover just off the edge of this eyebrow and when my arrow turns into a bendy arrow, I'm going to give it a bit of a rotate. Okay, and I'm just going to position that up a little bit higher. I'll just zoom back now. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Just nudge this up a little. Just to give him a bit of expression in his face. That's why I changed that second eyebrow up a little bit. Uh, we're going to stick a nose in the middle here now. So to do a nose, we grab our rounded rectangle tool again. And the nose color, let's pop over to the fill here. I'm going to change it to F2A. 088. So it's like the skin color, just a little bit more pink, I suppose. And we're going to draw ourselves a nose through the middle here, roughly in the middle. Just had a guess where that could be. And it's just going to look something like that. Okay, feel free to just use your arrow keys to nudge it around into a reasonable position so it's in the middle of those two eyes. All right, so that's looking good. Now, if you want, you can zoom in here and click on this with your selection tool. And just grab one of those white circles near a corner and just give it a bit more of a rounded edge. Okay, hopefully make it look a little bit more like a nose. 
Okay, so that's looking good. We might draw a little mouth now, so he's got a smiley mouth. Uh, the way we do that is we're going to use the pen tool. Okay, this pen tool can be a little bit tricky to use. All right, but bear with me. Hopefully we can get this working. Now for the pen tool, we're actually going to turn the fill off. So just choose that box with the red line going through it. And we're going to change the stroke color. And we're going to use the same color as the nose here. All right, so we better turn our stroke on first. We'll make it about five point to start with. We can always change that later. And the color we want for the nose again was F2A088. So that's the same as the nose. All right, so we've got a stroke color selected, which is just the border or the line color here. And I'm going to start somewhere about here, pretty much level with the eyes. You can see my pink guides there helping me out a bit. Now just watch how I do this first and then have a go at doing it. I might do this twice so you know what to do. So with the pen tool, you need to click once and then come straight across. And this time when you click, you actually hold your mouse down. So I'm going to click and hold and then drag my mouse up to bend that line to the shape of a smiley face. Okay, you can choose how your facial expression looks. You can give him a bit of a wonky face if you want to, but I think a smile will look good. When you've got that arc looking nice, okay, let go of your mouse there and press escape to turn the pen tool off. All right, so that's looking good. The next thing we might do, actually I said I'd do that twice, so I'll just do that once more for you, just so you can see how I did that. So grab the pen tool again, hover around where the eye begins, so you can see my guides helping me out there, doesn't matter if it's in the middle or the edge of the eye. Click once, let go of your mouse, come straight across, so you've got a perfectly straight line to the other eye. Okay, when you see that intersection line pop up, this time we're going to click and drag down. Oh, sorry, drag up. And we're going to get that bend in this line, so we get a bit of a smile. And just let go of the mouse once you've got the good bend, and press escape to turn that tool off. Grab your direct selection, oh, sorry, just your black arrow, the selection tool now, and feel free to just nudge that around a bit. Now one issue we've got is the corners of our smile here aren't rounded corners. I want them to be rounded corners rather than the sharp edges like it has now. So make sure you select that shape. And what we need to do is we need to go up to our window menu. And we're going to get our stroke panel up. Now with our stroke panel up, you'll see the cap here, which is the end of our lines here, the anchor points they're called. Just change the cap to a rounded cap here. And that just rounds the edges off on our line. All right, so it's a little bit wonky, this smile. I might just need to give him a little bit of a rotate. Push him up more towards the mouth rather than the bottom of the beard. You should have a face looking something like that at the moment. So that's looking pretty sweet. The last thing we need to really do on the face is some ears on either side. Okay, I'm going to draw them with rounded rectangles. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to just turn this... Actually, we'll leave the stroke on for the minute. We're going to change its color later. But I want to change the fill color first of all. Okay, I'll just select black to begin with. And then I can go in and type in the code I want. So for the inner section of the ear, which is our fill color, we're going to write in DE7659 and press Enter. And then for the stroke... Oh, it's already on the right one, F2A088, so that's basically the same colour as our nose and mouth. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're just going to draw an ear off to the side, so I reckon roughly that size is going to look good. Okay, now our ear doesn't look too flush just yet. What I'm going to do is make that stroke bigger. It's at size 5 at the moment. Let's start bumping that up and we'll just get a glimpse of how that's going to look. I'll probably go all the way up to 20 actually. So we've got a really thick stroke on our ear. And I think those corners are a little bit harsh on the ear as well. So with my selection tool, I'm just going to click on it and grab those little white corners and just bring them in so they're a bit more rounded. So we've got a bit more of a rounded ear. All right, so that's looking good. We'll just move this over to the right here. So it intersects with our head. So about half the ears on the head. Okay, and half the ears off the head. 
and then we're going to right click on this ear, arrange it and send it to the back. And that just pushes it behind the rest of our head. So that's pretty good. I'll just duplicate that by clicking on it now with my selection tool, holding down the Alt key and simply dragging across while holding Shift. Okay, and that puts another ear on the other side of my face. So our little hipster face now is coming together. Okay, but a hipster won't be complete without a hipster haircut. Alright, so the way we're going to do a hipster haircut is with probably um, a rectangle tool, I'd say, to start with. And then we're going to just um, round off some corners. So let's grab our rectangle tool again. I want you to turn your stroke off. And for the fill color, we're going to go back to the same color as the beard. So that code again, 75, 69, 69. And I just want you to draw, zooming in here, from this corner here on the head. And come across a bit to the left of the face. So it goes off the side of the face, something like that. Alright, now we're going to use our white arrow here, which is our direct selection tool. And we're going to, first of all, select this top right corner. Grab the little white circle there and just bring it down. So we get a reasonable... Um, semicircle pushing across there and we're going to do the same again for this left hand corner I think I might have stretched this out a bit far but we'll see how we go here yeah we've gone a bit far there so we may need to just grab our selection tool and bring this back across about there so that arc just starts with the corner of the head and pops up that way all right so that's our little hipster face done I think it will look better though if we stick it on a coloured background. Alright, so to put in a coloured background, very simple to do. Just grab your rectangle tool, come over to your fill colour here, and choose a colour you want for the background. I'm just going to choose a lightish kind of blue. Um, that'll do me there. Okay, it doesn't matter what colour you pick for this, but if you wanted the code, it was 59C5FF. And I'm going to start right in the top corner, top left hand corner, and drag all the way down to the bottom right hand corner. And drop that blue colour on my page. Using my selection tool now, I'll right click on that, go to arrange and send it to the back. Alright, so there is my hipster face, all done and dusted. When you're finished, if you want to come back and edit it later, be sure to save it as an AI file. Okay. Uh, if you're printing it, maybe a PDF file would be a good one. And if you want to save it for the web, just go to Export. And Export for Screens. And I'd be choosing a PNG format. That way you get a transparent background behind it if need be. Okay, another option is a JPEG at 100% quality. Alright, so that is how we draw our hipster face.